Guys, before we start the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel because we are getting really close to 100 subscribers. And press the notification bell so you guys will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so you guys can now enjoy the video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back to a brand new video where today we are uh, doing another story Sunday uh, this is going to be the last episode of the story of Prophet Adam alayhi salam I did say there was going to be two more in the last episode but I decided because they are both related to the same thing I put them both together so this is going to be kind of like a an extra long uh, story Sunday but <clears throat> just double the time nothing else so uh yeah, last time we left off when Prophet Adam and Islam and Hawa did not listen to Allah and uh, the shaitan tricked them into eating uh, an apple from a, from a forbidden tree. That's where Allah kicked them from paradise and sent them down to earth. And that is where, that, 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 that's when humanity came from. That's, that's, that's when Prophet Adam and Islam, uh, you know, they, they are children. And then grandchildren, their great great grandchildren, basically, yeah, it carried on happening until it led all the way down to us. So yeah, we are all the descendants of Prophet Adam alayhi salam, and um, yeah, because they were the first humans on this planet. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, start. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. <clears throat> so this episode is called the story of Habil and Qabil. The Prophet Adam alayhi salam and his wife Hawa had two sons. The elder son was called Qabil or Cain, I think they, they say in English or something, Cain, or in the Bible, something like that. And then the younger son's name was Habil or Abel, Abel, how do you say it? I don't know how, you, I, I don't know how you say it. Abel or Abel. Qabil was a farmer and Habil was a shepherd. Shepherd, like, take, takes care of the sheep. And obviously a farmer does the farming. So yeah, uh, Gabil and Habil wanted to offer a sacrifice to Allah, Qurbani. Uh, Habil chose a sheep to, uh, to sacrifice and Gabil brought his best crops. Allah accepted the sheep offered by Habil, but he did not accept the crops offered by Gabil. And because of that, Gabil was jealous and he, and he was very angry. He began to fight with Habil. He shouted, I will kill you. He said that to his own brother. Who were, who, who were raised together. And Habil loved Allah very much with all of his heart. He always had fear of Allah in his heart. He told Kabil to fear Allah. Kabil was jealous of his brother, as I said. Uh, he did not listen to him. He began to fight with him and eventually ended up killing him. And uh, so, yeah, they just... This, this is why jealousy is a bad thing. It leads to big arguments, big troubles, and eventually it can cause to war and death. And the moral, uh, and the moral, moral, moral of this story is that jealousy is bad. One should strive to be good and thank Allah for His blessings on us. We should not be envious of others' good fortune. This thought can destroy us rather than helping us anyway. So yeah, this basically said what I just said: jealousy leads to war and eventually death. And you should think about yourself: what the the, the things that you have, because the things you have, many people may not have. And that is why you should be thankful to Allah and, um, <clears throat> you know, just just don't think about anyone else. Allah gave you the things that was best for you. You should be happy for that. And, um, yeah. So the Quran part of uh, today's lesson is on the screen. There's going to be two parts, obviously, because there's double lessons. And the translation of this is, Our Lord, whom you condemn to enter the fire, you have surely brought to disgrace. Wrongdoers will have no supporters. They're saying people who do bad, no one will like them, no one will support them. Uh, so yeah. And they said whoever goes to the fire, they will surely, surely be like embarrassed. Kind of, yeah, embarrassed. Okay, so the next part of the story, this is going to be the last part of the entire series. 
and then after that we will move on to profit new relation but <clears throat> let's let's do this so Garbin became ashamed of his action he realized what he, what he had done he realized he had just killed his own brother he started to cry he was full of regrets he regretted everything he did he did not know what to do with the corpse of his brother Allah then sent a black raven which is in the thumbnail of the the raven scratched the ground and showed Garbil how to bury, bury his brother. Allah is happy with people who fear him. Allah does not like it when we fight and harm others. The moral of this story is that two believers should never fight with each other. Uh, so yeah, uh, and the moral of this part of the story is that anything done against the will of Allah will have disastrous consequences. We only realize it when we face it. We should fear the consequences before doing anything against the will of Allah. And then there's another uh, part of the Quran on the screen right now. And the meaning of this is our Lord we believe. So forgive us and have mercy on us. You are the best one to show mercy. So I'm pretty sure you all know what that means. So guys that is the end of uh, this entire series. And next week or the week uh, after depending on um, how busy I'm going to be because it's going to be Sharon's birthday and also we're going to have surprise guests coming uh, by the time I upload this they're going to be coming tomorrow so Sunday and um, I'll, I'll uh, yeah you, you, you guys will know on that day what's going to happen and yeah so that is the end of this entire series next series is going to be Prophet Nuh and uh, so yeah, we'll see you next week. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.